what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here ready to go with some more jojo's okay i'm ready to go man i'm ready to go i'm doing a couple of episodes for you guys tonight um so you guys can have these on wednesday uh so yeah man we dealt with the baby so now it's on back towards our journey ready to laugh again jojo's bizarre adventure episode 21 and 22 man let's get it not gonna waste too much time here you guys already know what it is go watch the reaction come back and watch the review man i'm telling you guys and i'm saying this again i keep saying this because i'm going to anybody that's not watching my intros and my reviews i already gave away a 25 dollars gift card this week it was on the community tab but i know it's not the most effective way to get to most of you guys because i know a lot of you guys probably don't see those notifications from the um you know even though everybody on the channel is supposed to see those youtube just does not send those out to every one of your subscribers so i know some people didn't see it and it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing that i did so um but shout out to creator he won the first giveaway i ever did on the channel 25 dollars gift card um so i'm telling you guys because i have a lot more planned coming up for this holiday season so stay tuned because i'm gonna think up some weird ass shit to do on these videos and leave clues and stuff like that that you're gonna have to remember to win these contests okay so just remember keep watching the intros and and my reviews if you keep doing that you're gonna see clues remember the clues and you'll be able to win the prize okay so Hey, we out here. Anyways, guys, let's jump into these reactions. I'll see you guys for the review. Okay, so Abdal is alive. <laughs> That's literally the last thing I expected them to do. Like in this series, like at this point, you know, bruh what <laughs> they let all of us as the audience go through it with polnareff because i had no clue either so that's just what it is but in any case i mean it is what it is um you know so i'm looking forward to seeing okay now that avdal is back in the crew we understand why as i was like nah that alone is not going to explain to me why this nigga is still alive because but they did a good job of explaining you know cool cool um unexpected but it's not like you know what i'm saying <sighs> i think it would have been better if he showed up like when they were gonna fight Dio or something like that <laughs> uh that's just my opinion but in any case i'm glad he's back i'm glad he's back um you know, I don't like the idea that they just kind of like, um, I can't imagine if they did something like this in like a major anime, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Jojo is a major anime. I mean, it's, it's big time, but in a, cause this, this anime don't take itself too serious most of the time. So it's kind of like for say for instance in, in in naruto if they brought certain characters back from the live like it just wouldn't feel right you know what i'm saying like if they did it the exact same way as in keeping it from somebody who talks too much like say um you know what i'm saying i don't know guy might guy maybe considered maybe talk too much i don't know he's not a i mean they're all ninjas so they're kind of good at keeping secrets it's like a general rule of becoming a ninja you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't go as far as to say it would happen in naruto they couldn't there's just certain things that are just perfect for jojo like you could do this and nobody's mad <laughs> you know what i'm saying you get what i mean um it's just i've heard hear people say all the time you know spoiler alert if you have not watched naruto um, you know, I've heard people say that if they brought back certain people in the series that died, I don't want to say the names cause I want to say spoilers, but they brought back certain people 
like bring them back forever like we all was happy when they you know when reanimations happened we kind of like oh that's dope but it was just as a play on people's emotions in the war with kabuto did you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day if those people were just if if it turns out that certain people died and it was a hoax you know what I'm saying? It was a hoax like, oh, we just wanted them on the other side of the battlefield. So we pretended that they were dead. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it would have been, you know what I'm saying? It, they would have crucified the series for doing something like that. Even though there's other things that they crucify Naruto about. I think that would be just like the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back or something like that. So I think it works here. I'm not mad at it. You know, I'm kind of glad that they did it, but at the same time, you know, I'm just looking at it from the point of view is like, is it, was it really necessary? Cause that was a really heartfelt moment. Like I felt like, you know what I'm saying? We lost a character that we've been coming for so long during this Stardust Crusaders. Like we had him for a good, I think around 10 episodes or so. So we kind of got used to this crew that they left on this journey together. You know what I mean? And now he's back, you know, they pretended he was dead. They didn't want to tell Polnareff, um, you know, they didn't give us any hint at all. So we were Polnareff in this situation. We were in that same position as him, not knowing, you know what I mean? So I guess they felt like if they revealed it to us, if they, you know what I'm saying? That would take the surprise out of it. But I was surprised. I just wanted to know, like, how is this possible? You know what I mean? So, um, in any ways, man, I really, I'm, I'm enjoying watching, watching this series. I really am. I really am, you know what I'm saying? You know, enjoying watching this series for sure. For sure. You know what I mean? Like, I like what they're doing with it. Um, you know, I'm enjoying it. So, they're still on their way. This Stan user was interesting. It was interesting to say the least. You know what I'm saying? And I do see the censorship that you guys have thought. I think it's the first time I actually noticed. Like it was super obvious in 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 that um in episode 22, right? It was it was super obvious, you know, when they, they that they were censoring like the the eating of the flesh and stuff and stuff like that. Um you know, and it, it didn't take me out of the action. You know what I'm saying? It didn't take me out of the action anyway. I don't mind it. You know what I mean? I don't mind it. I know you guys are going to say, oh, you should switch to the uncensored version. Listen, guys, it's. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Maybe, maybe for, for um the next part that we're going to watch, which is I think is Diamond is Unbreakable. I'll switch to uncensored and make sure I have the uncensored version. So we just gonna have to suffer through the entirety of Stardust Crusaders. Then when we get to the next one, I'll make sure I have uncensored for you guys. Okay. Um, but right now I already have the episodes downloaded. I don't want to have to go back. And also, you know what I'm saying? The, the translations are the, um, you, um, they have told they told me that the translations are really good on this version that I have. And I'd rather have that over having if you know what I mean? Like over the uncensored version, because if, if I already have good dialogue and it's representing, you know, the Japanese being spoken in this, um, closely, c correctly, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? As long as the censorship is not too obvious, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's not continuously obvious. Because I think there were some times in the anime where I think that was the first time I actually noticed, like really noticed censorship. You know what I'm saying? Like I really noticed it. So other than that, I don't think they've really censored anything because we saw the the, the baby eating poop. So I put the poop in the parts, like all that stuff they could be censoring, but they don't. But for some reason, for this last episode, it's, it's just like they just went all out with it. It's just like we've seen gross stuff in these in some of these episodes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But in any case, 
is all I have to say. I'll see you guys for the next ones. Peace. I think that's how the music goes that I'm playing. <laughs>